Hello everyone, welcome to In 5 Minutes. In this video, we are going to see the next problem on method of variation of parameters. So this is our question. If you see here we have sec ax and it's not matching with any of the type we saw in our previous videos. So we can solve this problem by using type uh, 6 but here we are going to solve this problem by using a method of variation of parameters. So it will be specified in the exam to solve the problem by using a method of variation of parameters. So the solution is given by y equal to yc plus yp. So we will find yc for that we need an auxiliary equation which is given by f of d equal to 0. f of d is nothing but this term which is d square plus a square equal to 0. So d square will be nothing but minus of a square. So this is a square root of negative term. So it will be complex. So d will be equal to plus or minus i times a. So whenever we have a complex root, our solution of yc is given by e raised to alpha x where alpha in our case is 0 and beta is a. e raised to alpha x. So e raised to 0x into c1 cos of beta x. Beta in our case is a. So cos of ax plus c2 sine of beta x. So sine of ax. So this will be nothing but c1 cos of ax plus c2 sine of ax. We all know in method of variation of parameters yc is similar to yp. That is this terms cos ax and sine ax will remain the same. That is cos ax plus sine ax. And instead of this constant c1 and c2, here we have u and here we have v. So this is our y1 and this is our y2. So this is our y1 and y2. So after finding y1, we take the derivative of y1 and derivative of cos ax is nothing but minus a sine of ax. And derivative of y2 is nothing but a cos of ax. So these are the derivative. After taking derivative, we find d. d is given by y1, y1 dash, y2, y2 dash, which is equal to y1 into y1 dash minus, this is y2, y1 into y2 dash minus y2 into y1 dash. So we calculate d as y1 into y2 dash. y1 is cos ax and y2 dash is a into cos ax. So it will be cos square a into cos square ax minus y2 y2 is sin ax and y1 dash is minus of a sin ax so this minus and this minus will become plus and this a into sin ax and sin ax will become sin square ax so from this two we can take a common and we get cos square ax plus sin square ax and we know that cos square theta plus sin square theta is nothing but one so our d is nothing but equal to a. So this is our d. So after finding y1 dash y2 dash and d we calculate u and v.